Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. And I'm Lita Leapins. And welcome to another edition of Our City Tonight. Wow, we're here at Distillery Bar and Kitchen in Yaletown, which is in Vancouver, of course. Yes, we got a lot to do. So, hey, we're going to get right to the show. segment of Spirits Up is brought to you by Time Winery and Involved Cellars. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, Lita and I find ourselves in a very cool area of Vancouver known as Yale Town and at one of our favorite places, Distillery Bar and Kitchen. I love this place because they play classic jazz and great movies, but they're not here to talk about that. Today, we're with one of our favorite people, Krista Lee. <laughs> Take over from here, Lita, please. Absolutely. <laughs> and we are about to try actually one of the wines we haven't tried yet. I know. I think we've tasted our entire portfolio wow. from time and water. Well, but, but you keep bottling and we keep <laughs> trying new ones. So Exactly. But what's special about so this one? So today this is a little bit different. This is called our Encore. Uh, blend and it's a blend of Pinot Gris, Gewürztraminer, Chardonnay, and Sauvignon Blanc. Wow! Oh, so wow. a little bit of everything, but it's wow. nice and dry. But it's got this amazing aromatic fruitiness to it. You know, it's just a perfect, easy drinking wine. Uh, super versatile. Works really well with chicken dishes or seafood mm. or turkey or you know just drinking on its own. Really. <laughs> and chips, <laughs> chips, yeah. chips, chips, of course. But it's for someone chips. who can't really make up their mind what wine they want and you've got sort of the best of everything. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. It really shows what a blend can do and it mm. takes the best components of each individual varietal and showcases them together. Oh, so you'll notice oh, that oh, like you can pick up mm. each varietal. You can pick the, the Christmas of the Pinot Gris. You can mm. pick the aromatic of the Gewürztraminer and the, the rose that petal and the really leaf. That's good. very nice. Mm -hmm. are, now wow. we are the first people to have this? <laughs> yeah, so this is a very small production. It's only available on our website at the winery, and it's Save oh. on Foods. Save on Foods. So, okay, so people can mm. find it now. We're into the new yes. year. Excellent. Uh, so just, the, and as you said, this covers everything food-wise, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. This I is love delicious. This, you know. Wow. You sound surprised. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never. Okay. We're going to sort this out and come back for another segment talk about more great wines with Krista Lee later in the show. Well, I'm here with Alfred Lai, uh, Chief Strategy Officer for Kubrick Media. Now, Kubrick yep. Media um, has been in the business for some time. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little bit of background on the company? Yeah, we started out as a, like an advertising agency, so uh, about eight years ago. So we do have a little bit with uh, branding, design, the traditional uh, web media. Um, and then since the booming of the Vancouver uh, real estate market, so we have a lot of real estate clients that uh, love our design. Uh, love our strategy, so uh, we decided to uh, focusing more on the real estate market. Uh, and since then, we have like uh, we developed like three teams. Uh, one is for uh, uh, branding and design. One is for strategy development, and one is for pre-sales, um, so sales. Great. So um, smart move mm -hmm. to move into the real estate market here in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that probably took the company to its next level. Yes. Um, describe some of the things that you've done to stay on top of that. Um, I think uh, uh, the tradition. I think a few years ago, um, the real estate markets was uh, uh, a lot of the marketing campaigns was uh, uh, developed by you know traditional marketeers. Mm -hmm. um, so they use static media, ad by you know traditional TV and radios, yes. and now we see a different trend with you know viral marketing. You know, uh, a lot of the developers actually uh, provide uh, create their own events, a uh, few of the well-known ones, and then they have uh, uh, campaign outside real estate. State. So they will um, have, you know, a, 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 a beauty, a, a social messages to it. You know, that's the new trend of uh, real estate marketing. So not just mm -hmm. uh, condos and sales, but they actually develop, you know, much more diversified and dynamic strategy uh, for these uh, kind of developments. Do you bring in the companies with you to help decide the strategies? Uh, yes, we we actually start our, our campaign really early on. So once they uh, acquire a piece of land or they decide to develop certain areas, we jump right in and work with the developers, um, so we, we get a good chance to uh, develop a strategy at a very early stage, and we have a lot of freedom, and then now the clients just trust us, you know, so we all did a lot of fun things, so. Great, so what's your favorite part of your business? Uh, I guess, uh, 
uh, it's very different. I used to do a lot of products, you know, a lot of uh, uh, visual designs. But nowadays, I have uh, uh, the chances of uh, build, uh, working on architectural projects. You know, to so see the building actually got you know uh, 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 like you know uh, 250 units. You know, straight up the sky. It was uh, incredible. And now I feel because I I want to be an architect, and this kind of fulfill my dream in a way, right? So. Wonderful. Well, thank you for spending some time with us okay. today. The pleasure is mine. Well, we're in a beautiful area of Vancouver called Yale Town and uh, all kinds of great shops and restaurants. In particular, we are here at Urban Tide Bistro. And we should congratulate our good friend Des and his team here, including Katie, because if you're open with a restaurant for almost 20 years, that is very impressive in this or any big city. Uh, we're going to talk about the food coming up later in the show, which Lita and I are anxious to try. First, <laughs> first we are going to look at their great cocktail. <laughs> Let's start with what we got here, Katie. So uh, this one is our lychee teeny. Mm. Yes, it's our, one of our um, famous cocktail here at Urban Thai. Nice. Mm. What would you, and I'll let Lita try that because I know how much she loves lychee tea. <laughs> I love lychee tea. tea. Yes. <laughs> so it's a mixture of vodka, soho liquor. And what, and are, you, and what are you pairing with that? Um, mm. I would pair that with either nah. stir fry or curry or spicy food. Right, right, yes. Okay. That was great. Nice. And oh my goodness, this looks delicious. <laughs> Tell me what I'm holding in my hand that so I'm about to drink a lot of. Our <laughs> Urban Thai mojito. How do you like that? Well, this is going home with me. Uh, wow. And you know, I, I, this is not just a summer drink, is it? That's fantastic. Wow. So what do we have in there? So uh, it's a mixture of rum, lime juice, and soda. Mm. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. And we should say, like, you want to pair all these with your foods. So we're going to look at the food a little later, as uh, we mentioned. But what would you pair with that? Any thoughts? I would pair that with... Um, Stir fry as well. Yeah. yeah, because it's refreshing. Maybe you have some spicy food and you can have this after. I think it goes great together. Mm. Yeah. Great reason to have more than one of those. Okay. Right. And we should say for people that aren't drinking, you have a great selection of non alcoholic cocktails. Mm. What do we, and I'm going to just give this to Lita as well because it's got chocolate in it, I'm sure. But what do <laughs> we got here? Amazing. So this is our um, Thai iced tea. It's a mixture of our homemade iced tea with a mixture of cream to make it smooth. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. And the verdict, Lita? Wow, what a great taste. Yeah. Never had anything like that. That is so interesting. So what would you pair with that? That is uh, really, really this good. This goes with anything, yeah. Okay, Very nice. perfect. Katie's going to join us for our next segment later in the show when we talk about the great food. They have at Urban Thai Bistro, <laughs> and Lita and I are very much looking forward to that. That's coming up later in the show. Well, welcome back to uh, one of our favorite places in Vancouver in the Yale Town District. It's known as Distillery Bar and Kitchen, and we're going to talk about another wine. Yes, and in fact, we're actually having another 2016 vintage, and that's kind of rare that we're sitting down and having all the same vintage in one sitting. Exactly. Today we're going to have feature three different wines from the 2016 vintage, which was an amazing vintage. The you know, great growing season, the summer was really hot. Uh, sometimes that's a bit of a challenge though because it gets too hot that the grape right. actually shuts down and has to catch up at the end of the year. But as a result, we get really rich ripe flavors. Mm. So an instance of this Viognier, you get lots of pineapple and citrus. Mm. Um, and you get a little hint of coconut from the oak because there's just a little bit of oak to this. Oh, tell us a little bit more how they use oak properly. Sure. So this we only sees about about two and a half months in one-year-old French oak, mm -hmm. but we oak you can have either French oak or an American oak are the two main kinds. There's other forests as well, but mm -hmm. it, like any other fruit or vegetable or anything that grows, they have different characteristics to it. So you'll get a different characteristic from French oak versus American oak. Mm -hmm. Also, how old the oak is. The newer the oak, the more pungent and more stronger flavors you'll have. Um, mm -hmm. French oak tends to be more sort of butterscotchy. Uh, American oak, that spicy vanilla characteristic that you'll get. So. And what, uh, other than potato chips, um, what are we looking at for uh, food pairings with for this? Viognier, I love this one with seafood. Beautiful with mm. like a nice okay, sable fish yeah, that's yeah. got a little bit of that fattiness to it. Nice. Or a nice salmon. Uh, mm. Also, you know, chicken, poultry. Definitely stuff. distinct oak, but, mm -hmm. but palatable. Very nice. Well, mm -hmm. I'm glad it's palatable. <laughs> <laughs> Again, she's not trying to sound surprised. That's not what we're doing here. Okay. Um, uh, we're going to argue this out for a few more minutes uh, while we yeah. go to something else. But we'll be back for another wine tasting uh, with Crystal Lee in just a little bit.
Well, we're back here in Yale Town in Vancouver at Urban Thai Bistro, and we're getting ready to try the food, but we wanted to mention... I'm still Jim's enjoying cocktail. this. Yeah, I'm enjoying this from the last segment. This is, we should say, we said it's a mojito, but this is an, uh, a Thai basil yes. mojito. Okay, yes. I'm loving that. And Lita, what is that you're having? Uh, well, Katie, what am I about this to try? This is called the Royal Thai. It's one of our um, non-alcoholic beverages. Mm, perfect. Yes, so it's a mixture of coconut cream wow. and lychee juice, and lychee itself as well. Excellent. Together. Wow, that Very nice. Great. And? Mm. Oh, it's perfect. You're not having any. It's like a dessert. <laughs> First time we've done this show where Lita's actually had back-to-back non-alcoholic drinks. Okay. Uh, Very funny. Anyway, okay, we're here to talk about the great food that you've been making here for 18 mm -hmm. years. Can we talk about, let's talk about this dish here first. What do we got going? So this one here, it's called uh, cashew nut stir-fried with chicken. Mm. Yes, so uh, the ingredients will be bell pepper, onions, and our um, homemade sauce. Oh, is it really hot together. and spicy or is it no, moderate? it yeah, comes yeah. mild, but we can add the spice as you like. Okay. Yes. And what do we got going on over here? In the pineapple. Yeah. Here, yes, it's our pineapple fried rice. Oh, wow. So uh, it's mixed with our fresh diced pineapple, pepper, onions, and top it off with the pork frost. Very nice. Yeah, I was yes. looking at the fun. So pork frost. Yes, pork frost. Very cool. How did you guys come up with, I mean, this creation, it's all, a lot of it's presentation too. Yeah. You got to have good food, but how long have you been <laughs> presenting it like this, do you know? Um, For quite a while. It's yeah. been in the menu. Yes, Very for nice. quite a big while. Yeah. Very cool. Um, you you were going to talk about gluten free because I know that's important to you. Curious, right? yeah. And you do have a good menu of gluten free yes, for. Yes. So these two dishes, we can make uh, them both gluten free as well. Oh, that's really okay. Yes. Great, that's great. So what lovely dish do we have here now, Katie? So this one here is the hot and sour soup. Mm. It comes with Thai gatan. It's really hot and spicy, or is it moderate? Uh, we can modify it as the. Yo, you can make hotter. Like. Or yes. Oh, okay. yes, as you <laughs> yeah. like. All right. Now, I've got to ask. Oh, this looks so delicious. What do we have here? So this one here is the green curry. It's a mixture of eggplant, green peas, bell peppers, and our fresh basil. Oh, yes. very nice. And I know this is important to Lita. Uh, can you talk a bit about gluten free? Yes. Yeah, so uh, these two dishes, we can make it gluten free as well. Yes, yeah, nice. very cool. That. And it doesn't take away from the flavor at all. Not when you, at all. Oh, that's so sometimes all. that is a problem. Yeah. It, it, it's very bland if you ask for gluten free. Yes. <laughs> and that's we should wonderful. we should mention too, like you do change up the menu seasonally, do you not? Yes. Yeah. So we have our uh, three sets uh, seasonal menu as well. Nice, yes. nice. So it comes with an appetizer, main dishes, and you can choose your dessert as well. Ooh, dessert. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. Well, it's pretty spectacular. Any restaurant lasting 18 years, wow. you've got a solid, solid customer base. This is just so incredible, but we know why now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should say to the rest of the country, if you are watching uh, outside of Vancouver, come check out uh, Urban Thai Bistro and Yale Town. Pretty cool area for shops and a whole bunch of restaurants and bars and all that stuff. And we want to thank Des. Congratulations, Des, the owner here, and his family for 18 years. And thanks to Sabrina Jensen for getting us in here to eat this food. Thank you, great Thanks, thanks very much, thanks, Katie. Katie. Nice job. Yeah. Cheers. Well, we're back here at one of our favorite places in Yale Town at the Distillery Bar and Kitchen, and we are finishing up on our last wine, another 2016 Crystal wow. Another 2016, yeah. So this is the Evolve Shiraz. Mm. And 2016 is a little bit young, most people would think, for a red wine, but our whole goal at Evolve is to uh, deliver fresh, fruit-forward, easy-drinking wines. And this, as you'll taste it, is really soft tannins, got amazing blueberry, a little bit of white pepper. Mm. Um, if you were to look at the vintage, you might be a little bit scared because it seems a little bit young, but I think mm. when you taste oh, yeah. it, you're yeah, just really, blown yeah. away by the, the amazing softness of the fruit. This actually won a gold medal uh, just at our BC Wine Awards this fall as well, the wow. same week it was released. So, wow. Yeah. Well, it's delicious. Exciting. And you've been winning a ton of awards. We have been, yeah. Lawrence, our winemaker, is just doing a phenomenal job in the cellar, and Nadine, our assistant winemaker, so I couldn't be happier. But, yeah. Yeah, and we, uh, we would be remiss by not mentioning your father. Who now is this his fiftieth? Yeah, he's 50th? he's kind of got a small part in this. Is this his fiftieth or 49th? Like what? this is it. So we, uh, this year was his fiftieth vintage. Wow. So there's nobody that's worked in the BC wine industry longer than my dad. So. Wow, mm. incredible. Yeah. What uh, now? We should mention as well. Big plans in the spring yes. of 2018. We of course visited the Time Winery uh, last fall as it was mid build. Yep. New opening. Can you talk a little bit about that? Give yeah. an early preview. Yeah, we're very excited. It's taken a little bit longer than we had anticipated 
excited, but the winery at Time Winery in Penticton at 361 Martin Street, right downtown, will be open in March. So. Oh, March now? Okay. Yes, Excellent. Excellent. yeah, Wonderful. it's going like crazy, the construction, so uh, we're really hmm. excited. And the first one, was it winery uh, downtown, like in a, the middle of a city, right? Yes, in, yes, in the South Okanagan. So we have a winery, a restaurant, and a theater. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah. Look for this, and this is fantastic. Yes. <laughs> this is very nice. 2016, a new vintage, and congratulations on another great year. And here's a, a new year, and um, yeah. Okay, now we're just going <laughs> to enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, let's go to something else in the show. This is fine. <laughs> this segment of Spirits Up was brought to you by Time Winery and Evolved Cellars. Cheers. Cheers. Cling. This health and wellness segment is brought to you by Viva Nutraceuticals. Well, we are back here at the Pacific Inn Resort and Conference Center in White Rock. Um, you'll always know the salmon colored building. Salmon, Very not pink. tropical. <laughs> That's right. That's right, and we're back here to talk about stress. Uh, Dr. Gita, you were here with Lita and I in our last episode, and we talked about you know proper sleep, uh, of course, how to combat stress, how to deal with the physicality of stress. But let's talk now about nutrition and diet. Okay. Well, diet is important. Probably the key factor in diet that people uh, aren't aware of a lot is, is the intake of caffeine. Now, caffeine uh, is something that gives us good energy through the day, but at night, it can be a stimulant and keep you awake. And the problem with that is that if you're not sleeping well at night, you wake up in the morning and you're tired, and what do you do? Caffeine, you have more caffeine. Yeah, yeah. It becomes a vicious circle. Um, dietarily, as far as what's in our li a lifestyle, caffeine is a, probably a big one. Other things that are nutritional that can affect our sleep are a high carbohydrate sugar diet. You know, that can cause low blood sugar attacks for people. So during the day, they're all sluggish and they're taking naps during mm, the day. So yeah, it yeah. breaks up that sleep cycle. And at night and subsequently, you don't sleep as well. Simple nutrition. So e eating healthier fruits, vegetables, you know, a good organic meats, things like that. Stay away from stimulants, your energy drinks, things like that can, can stabilize your sleep behavior for sure. And when people aren't able to eat properly, I mean, all of us, we were busy we'd every daily. So, um, any suggestions for supplementation for a good sleep? Supplementation? There, there are, oh, when it comes to supplementation for good sleep, there, there are all kinds that we use, depending on the type and the nature of the sleep disorder. If people have a high stress lifestyle, for example, they're releasing a hormone called cortisol, mm -hmm. which is like an adrenal hormone. And that hormone is responsible for what we call a fight or flight response. Yes. So with that hormone, when, when there's stress hitting us, we either fight back or run away. And that hormone can, can be helpful, as you said, good stress is there. But it can also be detrimental in that it can keep us awake at night. So mm -hmm. we use su uh, supplements such as um, uh, plant extracts like valerian, L-theanine, GABA. These are a uh, Relora. These are nutritional supplements that can actually calm down that cortisol so we get a restful sleep at night. Naturally. Absolutely. Naturally. Yeah, and, naturally. And let's throw in that thing that we all love and how it affects sleeping and our diet and everything, and that's alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, how many people go out late at night? I sometimes will go out and have a glass of wine at dinner. Exactly. Alita knows this, and we've talked about this, where come home, though, and I'll go to have a go to bed early, but four hours later, it's like clockwork from the lake. And I think alcohol has that impact on most people because it is a bit of, a, it, it has a sedative effect, so when you drink a certain amount of alcohol, you'll pass out very quickly, so yeah. you'll fall asleep. But then it can have an impact on your blood sugar and your cortisol level, so through the middle of the night, uh, your blood sugar can, can drop. And subsequently, the person wakes up because the body needs to keep that sugar stable. Oh, okay. Boom, all of a sudden you're awake, yes. you're awake uh, and you can't get back to sleep. So that's why alcohol has that positive, negative, knocks you out, but it won't be a good sustained sleep. And, and not good for stress. <laughs> but it's not, not a good idea to have too. chocolate by the bed no, and just to eat no. it when oh, you wake no. up. Darn it. <laughs> this is causing me stress. Uh, listen, you're always great to talk to you about this. And of course, you have more information on your website. That's right. Talk about stress and of course in your book. Um, Get help if you are having trouble with stress, is the first thing Dr. Gita said in our last Absolutely. episode. Thank you for joining us. Always good to have you here yeah, with thank us. You. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Insosia is an effective sleep aid that can help you wake up in the morning feeling well rested. The traditional Chinese herbal medicine is patented and has been used for centuries to help relieve insomnia due to heart blood deficiency. Insosia is made in Canada, formulated by doctors, and manufactured by experts with more than 20 years of experience. 
For more information, go to VivaHealthSolutions.com. Hi, I'm Lauren Lee Smith from Frankie Drake Mysteries, and you're watching Our City Tonight. Six takes, to girl. Six. <laughs> no. no, I'm kidding. She is an award-winning singer-songwriter. She has played and lived all over the world, including a four-month stint in Nepal. Yeah, I said that right. Uh, here is Lola Parks' newest single, All This Time. song for the last couple months, but the video makes me nauseous. You can see why. And I'm here with Lola Parks right now, local singer-songwriter. Uh, congratulations. First of all, we've taken a long time to get you on the show. Uh, my fault. Uh, but you're here now. Let's talk about the new uh, album you have, Hustle, which is available on Spotify, iTunes, and Bandcamp. Yes. Uh, your influences, you talk about it, from Ella to Janice. Uh, can you talk about what living and playing around the world does to your sound and your songwriting? Ah. Uh. I think it's just anywhere you go that is different, you get different conversations, you get different ideas, you get different perspective. Uh, language frames how we see reality and how we process things. So um, hopefully I get a really sort of comprehensive, um, tuned in, clued in, respectful, pull this and that, whatever sort of I'm given to sort of move forward with, I think, like with, rhythmically or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, because musically, when you travel, you, you can be exposed to so many different sounds and beats and, and things like that, that it really does, it does affect you, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I mean, I know my last album, I was doing a lot more sort of finger picking and we had Cajon on all but one of the, of the tracks, which is, a, which is a hand drum. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, you know, you grew up in this neighborhood, did you not? You're a, you're a local girl, and uh, you you actually got a lot of attention very early on. I want to say you were like all modesty aside. Were you like 14, 15? You're getting that kind of attention. When I was 14, I got a really cool yeah. award. Yeah. So is this something uh, you just always wanted to do your whole life? Yeah, I've never been. I'm getting the big picture, and the yeah. big goals. I find tricky, but I was singing before I knew it, so. So your parents just had to step out of the way and say, this is what you're going to do. She seems to be doing okay with this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny, too, because you, you talk about, the, and I was teasing you earlier about how hip you have to be when you're running your own gig, your own show. Uh, I, I'd never heard of Bandcamp. I was talking about where your, your, your music is available. You have your own website, which you can see here, but what, I, I'd never heard of Bandcamp. Uh, Bandcamp is a, you can almost use it as your own website. Mm -hmm. You can sell your music on there. I believe it goes directly through PayPal. Um, and they also offer a format called FLAC, where you can download FLAC, um, and unlike MP3s you d and compressing, you don't lose any of the quality of the sound. That's, uh, that's very yeah. important, very cool. Uh, the new album's called Hustle, The Hustle, I should say, and I, I told you, I was teasing the other day, going, I cannot get that song out of my head all this time. It's a great new album. All your other stuff is on uh, the outlets we mentioned as yeah. well. And again, congratulations on the album and actually skydiving, because that's something I will <laughs> never, ever do, and you made a video out of it. It's so. pretty awesome. I was going to say, uh, quickly, uh, any uh, big gigs coming up in 2018 you want to talk about? Uh, I'm trying to think, sorry. New Year's Eve. Uh, Brentwood Bay, Fairmont Empress. Oh, nice. Just some nice little. Okay, you can find all that information ones. on your website, right? Yeah. Lola Park, she's one of my faves, a uh, local person who's uh, done a lot around the world in the new album, The Hustle. Look for it now. Thanks, Lola. Thank you. Hey, my name is Alex Ponovic, and you are watching Our City Tonight. Well, it's the new year and time for another movie review segment, as I've done every year for the last 20 years. We're going to look at my top five of 2017, starting with Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen at number five in the drama Wind River. Set on a remote Native American reserve in the Midwest, Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen try to track down the killer of a Native American young woman killed several years before. Wind River is my number five movie of 2017. My number four movie was a big hit last summer and a movie you should definitely see on the big screen. It's legendary auteur director Christopher Nolan. In the number four position, it's the World War II drama, Dunkirk. 
1942. Set during 1942, during the darkest days of World War II, Dunkirk tells the story of the miraculous evacuation of hundreds of thousands of soldiers from the beaches of France as the Germans were closing in. Number four is the movie Dunkirk. My number three movie takes place in 1971 and it was a landmark move in the era of journalism. Before Watergate, there was the Pentagon Papers. Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks star in the true story, The Post. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times says 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. There's always a movie in my top five that didn't open here in Vancouver or other parts of Canada in 2017. My number two movie of the year is Daniel Day-Lewis in what will be his last movie, or so he says. It's called Phantom Thread. You can sew almost anything into the canvas of a coat. When I was a boy, I started to hide things in the linings of the garments. Things that only I knew were there. Secrets. Good morning. Will you have dinner with me? There's Daniel Day-Lewis in a spectacular performance which may get him another Oscar as he retires from the screen. Okay, my number one movie of 2017 was a little movie that could. It starred Frances McDormand, it stars Sam Rockwell, and it stars Woody Harrelson. She delivers what will probably be an Oscar-winning performance. I'm talking about Frances McDormand, and the movie, my number one of 2017, is Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. It seems to me the police department is too busy torturing black folks to solve actual crime. What the hell is this? I'm in the middle of my damn Easter dinner. Sorry, kids. I know, Chief, but I think we got kind of a problem. Sunshine beating on a good time. I'd do anything to catch your daughter's killer. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The time it took you to get out here whining like Willoughby. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now. Oh, there are a lot of other films I should mention, including Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool. Oh, there was a whole bunch of movies, including that one. But that's my top five for 2017. Well, we're here at Distillery Bar and Kitchen in Yale Town in Vancouver. Of course, we've had a really exciting show. Yeah, it was good times, actually. Make sure you check out Yale Town when you're visiting Vancouver, and we know that you will be visiting Vancouver. And don't forget, you can check us out on YouTube, past episodes, and social media. Follow us, Our City Tonight, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Jim Gordon. And I'm Lita Leapin. We'll see you on the next edition of Our City Tonight.